I was searching for an exit option from Gaza for my Palestinian family. Five thousand years of recorded history, Gaza is one of the oldest cities in the world. Once a node on ancient Mediterranean trade routes, it is today a nexus of the Middle East peace conflict. In 2007, Gaza was cut off from the rest of the world. The given reason was to weaken Hamas, the elected governing militant organization. Among the one and a half million people trapped in Gaza were my four little half-siblings and my dad. Oh, but sitting at the end of those tunnels is like pure torture. If anybody can teach you about anxiety control, it must be those boys like sitting at the end of the tunnel because like there's no oxygen left there. And like the light goes out constantly and like. I guess this is all tunnel country. I was so glad to see my dad and the little ones after many years of forced separation. <laughs> but I kept thinking about the lives of the young tunnel workers. أول شيء بدينا العمل في الأنفاق من بعد حصار غزة 
واللي خلاه نلجا لحفر الانفاق اللي هو الحصار الظالم اللي وقع على قطاع غزه منع جميع المواد الخاصه بالحياه اليوميه لقطاع غزه فلذلك اضطرينا لحفر الانفاق عشان نتواصل مع الجانب المصري وندخل البضائع اللي تم منعها عن طريق المعابر كنت نايمة صحيت وقالوا لي بابا مات، قعدت أبكي، Playing in the water with my brothers and sisters, I worried about their future. Gaza offers so few viable opportunities. But Palestinian refugees have no passport and no other place to go. So despite their industrious digging, the tunnels lead to nowhere for them. <laughs> <laughs> 